If you have the awareness that you're an emotional eater or overeater, stress eater, nighttime snacker, whatever word you want to use, I just use emotional eating as sort of the umbrella word, but there's so mm-hmm. many. If you have the awareness of that, then that's sort of your aha moment to help you be like, oh yeah. And you, there's so much resource available. This is the thing, like, I had been trying to stop at myself before that in various ways, and I couldn't figure it out. And we get sort of shamed into thinking that we have to do it ourselves or hide it, or, like I oh, did. Oh yeah. Didn't tell anybody, you know? And I don't want to miss miss on this. It's not something that we often talk about. If you're emotionally eating for whatever reason, that's usually something you're not talking about with friends, families, and coworkers. It's often, not saying for everyone, but it's often something, a behavior that is done secretively. Yes, having the awareness. If we don't have the tools to do something instead of, then it, that's just, then the food is our tool. Yeah, exactly. 